I'm glad you guys have joined us tonight. We are going to have a great class. I'm going to immediately pass it over to Carissa to get us started in this oily chat this week. Let me see if I can unmute you, if it will let me. There you that go. Work? Yeah. Hey. Hey guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to be starting us off with some oily basics. So I'm going to um, explain, for those of you who don't know, huh, um, what an essential oil is. And then I'm going to cover just a few basic ways that you can use essential oils every day. Um, and once you kind of get those basics, the sky's the limit. So we'll get started. Um, an essential oil is a highly concentrated oil produced from the plant material by either steam distillation, extraction, cold pressing, or resin distillation. Um, essential oils are more powerful um, than dried herbs because they are much more concentrated. So you gather a ton of plant material and then they go through those distillation processes to extract just that vital essential oil. Um, they contain many um, very powerful constituents and compounds. They are considered a volatile substance, which sounds really scary, but it's not. That just means that it evaporates quickly. So it carries the scent and all of the, like the natural smell and characteristics of the plant are carried through that volatile um, compound. So you get essential oils from botanicals such as flowers, like Molly talked about earlier, um, shrubs, trees, roots, and seeds. So a seeds, like for our V6, those heavy fatty oils. Um, whenever we're talking usage, obviously, like a, a diffuser, you can um, aromatically use the oil. You can diffuse it or you can take just an oil and open the bottle and just kind of smell it directly from the bottle. You can also use an essential oil topically. I'm gonna to use some joy. I've already used my gratitude today, but you just, you can put it just directly into your hand and smell it. You can rub it, put it on like your pulse points. So like your, your throat right around this artery here or right on um, your wrists. If it is like a warmer oil, something that, yeah, there's a lot of friction going through, just top it with a carrier oil like V6 or coconut oil and you're good to go. Um, and you can also use essential oils, like our Vitality line, get close enough for y'all to be able to see. And you can just put a couple of drops in your water or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever, um, just to add some extra flavor, which I've got grapefruit going on right now. So um, a few quick things about essential oils, just to be aware of, some of our oils do increase photosensitivity, and that means it makes you more sensitive to sunlight. So citrus oils, you're not going to want to put lemon on your face and then go sit at the ballpark watching your kids play t-ball. Bad idea. Don't do that. Um, and those hot oils, whenever we say hot, it means that those chemicals in the oil, they move quickly because they're very light. So the friction between your body and the oil is really quick. And so it creates what we perceive as heat. It's really just fast moving particles you need to make sure you have like a V6. So things like clove, oregano, some people thieves, just so, just in case, if it gets a little warm, it's easy to combat that. Water does not work. Water and oil repel. It'll just <laughs> drive it in faster, which makes it feel hotter. So just keep that in mind. Um, so those are kind of some basics. Um, Whenever you're using oils, those basic things, the more you use them, the easier it is to use. Um, a very important thing to, to remember with essential oils is quality. 
and we're going to talk about um, why Young Living is what we use, and Melinda's going to touch on that, and she's going to explain all of those things that Young Living does that makes us comfortable with using our oils in those three ways. So I'm going to pass it over. Thank you, Carissa. Yes, oils, when I first started, were a little bit scary because, you know, there's a lot of them, and what do you do with them? So like Chris has said, there's three things. You put it in the diffuser, you smell it, you can put it on you, or you can put it in your water or take it um, orally. It's that easy, so don't be scared by oils. Um, let me rephrase that. Don't be scared by young living oils. <laughs> there is a difference. People ask me why I do young living, and they're like, because there's cheaper oils out there. And I was like, yes, yes, there are. Um, are there better oils out there? No, there are not any better oils out there, in my opinion. Um, the reason behind why some of the other oils can be cheaper, because I think, I know Amanda's on this page with me because we've had this discussion of like, when we started, it's like, but there's cheaper ones. And if they work just as well, then maybe we should try those. Okay, just trust us. Don't waste your time trying the cheap stuff. They really aren't going to work. And I will tell you why. Um, the only FDA rule, compliance, whatever you want to call it, is that there has to be 10 percent oil in the bottle to be called organic, all natural, all the words that you're looking for that you think you're going to get something good, that only has to have 10 percent oil in the bottle and they can fill the rest with anything else they want and they don't have to put it on the label. There's so many things that are regulated but this is not one of them, okay? Um, so the other half of that is out of that 10 percent oil in the bottle, you can legally distill an oil up to four times, okay? So what that means is they put all the plant material in the big vat, right? They distill it, the oil comes out the bottom, that's your first distillation. You take that off, you can do that again. That's your second distillation. You can do that again, that's your third distillation. You can do that again, and that's your fourth distillation. Sorry, has been peeked in even though there's a sign on the door. Um, and so anyway, so you can do that up to four times. Know that, and this is, I'm an occupational therapist by trade, and so I'm sciencey by nature. Um, so know that every time you do that di next distillation, you are losing parts of the oil that are important if you want them for medicinal purposes just want them to smell good, there's still questions in there about what else is in that bottle, okay? But, um, so every time you do that, you, you lose some of those chemical constituents of the plant that make it do what we like for it to do, right? Um, so out of that 10% oil in the bottle, that can also be from a fourth distillation, okay? So you don't really know um, what you're getting unless you know your company. Um, it's kind of like when you go organic, they say, you know, all organic is not equal. You need to know where you're getting your stuff from and who the company is and who grew it and what the farm looks like, all the things. Oils are kind of the same way. So my example I always like to tell people is let's pretend like you're going to drink some orange juice in the morning. Okay, we like orange juice. So you take your cup and you put 10% orange juice and we'll just say it's full orange juice. 10% orange juice in the, in the glass, and then you put in some water and a splash of milk and a little bit of tomato juice and some other things, and you mix it all up, and that's your orange juice. Does anybody else want to drink that orange juice? I don't want to drink that orange juice, okay? Same thing with the oils in the bottle. You don't know what's in the bottle if you don't know the company, okay? And so then the question is, well, why do I believe that Young Living is best? Why do I believe... Um, that it's worth it. And it's because not only does Young Living have a seed to seal promise, okay, seed to seal, meaning that from the time that they have the tiny seed that is theirs and they plant it in the ground and they own the ground, they own the processes of how the dirt is treated, everything, through the, distill the distillation process, through the harvest, through the bottling, through everything until they put the seal on the bottle is all in Young Living's hands. Okay, so they are in charge of that. They know exactly what happens at every step. That's the seed to seal promise. And then I've had people say, yeah, 
but other places say that they do these things and they're great and they're whatever. How do you know? Okay. Well, I used to not be able to answer this question as well, but now I can because I've been there and I've done that. Okay. So you have the opportunity. If you're in Young Living, you can go to any farm. You can go to the corporate office. You can go to the warehouse. You can go anywhere you want and say, hey, I'm a Young Living member. I want to look around. Can I do that? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, and so I was with Carissa and Molly one year when we went to beauty school in Utah. And the few days prior to that, we did what's called Inside Young Living, which was kind of a pre-setup thing for us, but it allowed us to go to the farm and the distillery. And we went to the bottling plant, which is in the warehouse. We went to the warehouse. We got to go past and see all of the testing centers because they will test this product up to like seven or eight times before you get it. They test it when it's grown. They test it before they harvest. They test it after they distill. They test it when it gets to the bottling plant to make sure nothing happened in between. Um, they test it, I can't tell you how many times, but they wanna make sure that it's perfect. They have their set of rules that they deem perfect. Um, and we went to the call center where you call in for help. We went to corporate offices. We went to all of it. And I walked away being able to say, sorry, um, walked away being able to say Young Living is our English. Young Living are is who they say that they are. Sorry, my son uh, that doesn't live with me decides to call now. Um, so, but they are who they say they are. Okay. I believe them. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've smelled, if you want to smell something fabulous, go to a farm while they're distilling something. Okay. It's amazing. Um, but they are who they say they are. They do what they say that they do. Um, so if you're ever anywhere near a farm, highly encourage you to take a tour. We have farms all over the world. Um, and so one of, that's one of the things I like about Young Living. They believe that wherever God planted that thing, that's where it is supposed to grow. And so that's where they have their farms. Um, go buy a farm. You will not be disappointed and you'll be a 100% believer like the rest of us who have been to those places. Um, and that is why I, and I believe the other people on here, believe that Young Living is the best one out there. I want 100% oil, first distillation only, in my bottle. And that's how we can have the vitality oils that can be internally taken because they are only first distillation in the bottle. When you see a bottle of oil and it says, do not ingest, you got to question what else is in the bottle. Okay, so that's my little piece. Um, I love Young Living. I love everything that it has done for me up until this point. And um, we all have tons of stories, but today it's Molly's turn. So we're going to let Molly tell some of her stories. And uh, I can't wait. She has good stories. And then oh, good. pass it to her. Thank you so much, Melinda. Great information too. And one of the most adulterated oils is lavender. Lavender, you you see lavender everywhere, right? Even the other day, a friend of mine had, got some uh, bath salts at the store and she said, this has lavender essential oil in it. Do you think this is good? And I said, I don't know where that essential oil came from, but I would get plain um, Epsom salt and I would add my Young Living lavender to it. And she said, okay. And she said, you know, it's cheaper to get the plain salt anyway. And I said, yeah. So lavender is one of the most adulterated oils and you see it everywhere. I love lavender because it's calming, it's relaxing, and it's in, you know, you'll see it in body washes and you'll see it in bath salts. You're going to see it in um, lotions. When my um, oldest children were little, I actually used a um, over-the-counter um, lotion and a bath wash that were that had lavender scent to them and I did it before bed and it it is calming lavender is very relaxing and calming and so but what I when I saw the huge difference was when I switched and started using Young Living Lavender they actually have we have a shampoo and a body wash in the lavender as well and when I made that switch Instead of the over-the-counter things, I saw an improvement in their skin and I saw an improvement in their sleep. 
and it was amazing. So let me tell you a few little stories about lavender. So lavender is great in our home for burns. My um, ba he was two at the time. He walked up and touched the wood stove with his hands. Even though we've told him it's hot, he still didn't believe us until he touched the wood stove. And it immediately blistered, immediate blister on his hand. So I took the lavender and I poured it on. And I did this probably every minute for 10 minutes. I poured more on and I poured more on and I poured more. On. We didn't go run under cold water. We got the lavender out and we poured the lavender on. And that um, it didn't blister. The blisters actually went away. They started blistering up immediately, but it blisters went away. They went down. And by the next day, you couldn't even tell he'd even been burned at all. But the key to using essential oils and seeing improvement is when there's an emergency, using them often. So a lot of times when we need something and we need to see results, we'll use them more often. And so if you're new to um, using essential oils, lavender is a great one that doesn't necessarily have to be diluted because it's such a mild essential oil. It's a very, very uh, mild and it's one that you can just put it on your chest, put it on your feet before you go to bed and it gives you an amazing sleep. Love it. The other one, now lavender is the most popular essential oil in the world, okay? It's the one you hear about in, like I said, you see it in everything, okay? Now, Young Living's most popular blend is Thieves. Thieves, Young Living is known for Thieves. When people say Thieves, then people go, oh, that's Young Living because they know that's where it came from. And there's a great story behind that. Um, whenever Gary Young came up with the name Thieves, it was because he saw a story um, in a European museum and it talked about um, people that kept their bodies well and they used clove, cinnamon, lemon, eucalypt, um, rosemary, and um, clove, cinnamon, and eucalyptus. Is that right? I'm trying to think. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop and think for a second. And so that's why he got the name thieves because those people were um, thieves. They were robbing. So that's where that name came from. And so that's where it got started. So a lot of people think that's such a weird name, but that tells you the blend is so powerful. Now, when I first started using Young Living 12 years ago, my sister um, talked me into using Young Living for two years. She was staying on me about it. And I finally had an amazing um, breakthrough in my body and in my health. And I became a complete believer in these uh, plant juice in the bottle and I haven't gone back since. So when I got this thieves, I started diffusing it. I started having the most intense, awful headaches I'd ever had. And I would had migraines for years, but every time I diffused thieves, I had a headache every time. And I was like, I can't deal with this. I can't have this oil in my house. It's supposed to be making me better. And it's giving me a headache. Well, my sister said, hey, do you know what? If you would stop burning your candles and pull all those plugins out of your walls while you're diffusing thieves, see if that doesn't make a difference. I didn't realize that all the plugins around my house, my candles I was burning, all the toxins. I was a Febreze addict. I sprayed Febreze all over everything every day, like my curtains and everything. And I did that because I wanted a smell. I wanted a good smelling and a fresh smelling house all the time. So in doing that, I was putting so many toxins in my home that thieves diffusing it, the toxins were in my body. And so when I started using the thieves, it started trying to clean my body out. And in the way of that, I was getting a headache. So I stopped with the plugins. I stopped with the thing, all the things. And I just started diffusing thieves and my headaches went away. So we love thieves just for a good, clean smell, but it's great for your immune system. I like to drink thieves in hot water. If I have a sore throat, 
I'll get some hot water, put some drops of thieves, and then it helps me, helps my throat tremendously. Um, cough drops. Thieves has a whole line of, now I just use the cough drops a lot of times, but Thieves has a whole line of cleaners, the cough drops. Most recently we have, who hasn't used some hand purifier this year, right? Or the past year. And so we have Thieves for all the things, all the things. And what I love about it is when you get your starter kit, you're starting out with the small vitality thieves and the difference in the two labels right here are this says that this can be taken orally and this one says this is for topical application or aromatic application but guess what you know how melinda mentioned the distilling and all the making of it it's the same oil it's in two different labels but because the fda requires two different ways to use it that's why we have to use it in two different ways. And so you can use it however you wish in your home. And when you get this, you're going to go through this bottle of thieves pretty quick. And the great thing about it is you can reorder a larger bottle that's like three times the amount. And so Amanda's going to tell us all about how we can order and how we can reorder once we have gotten our oils. Okay, so if you're hearing all this and you're like, okay, I need to be diffusing some thieves and putting some lavender on some kitchen burns, I get those regularly. I'm going to tell you how to do it, four easy steps. Some of you have already gone through most of these steps. Some of you, this is new. So first step is to become a member of Young Living. The reason you want to become a member is because members get 20 4% discount off of everything. So if you want to start making steps in your health and switching stuff out in your life, you want to be a member. The way to become a member is by getting one of Young Living's starter kits. And the starter kit that we recommend is the starter kit with the oils and the diffuser. So Molly's holding up the box of oils. You're going to get 14, 12, I'm sorry, <laughs> thinking in even numbers. You're going to get 12 amazing oils some of the most popular oils melinda's holding up one of the awesome diffuser choices that's the desert mist diffuser so the oils in this kit are like the lavender the thieves peppermint the oils that you seriously if anything comes up in your life you will have one or two oils in this kit to try to address any issue it's going to replace all the scent stuff in your house all the artificial scents it's going to <clears throat> help your family in so many different ways, give you tons of options. So that's why we recommend it. It's because you're also going to get that beautiful diffuser to start diffusing them, to start breathing these in, because the oils help every cell in our body function better. When you start learning about the science behind these, you're going to want them in your body every day. So this kit gets you right on that track of being able to do that. So what you to get to take the first step in becoming a member, get with the person who invited you and they'll plug you in, either send you a link or do the process for you to get you started on that. The second step is when you are ordering that kit and becoming a member, you wanna get on a, the Essential Rewards Subscription Program. What that is, it is, it's like Young Living's monthly fun box loyalty program where you get tons of benefits. You get discounted products, you get um, all sorts of access to discounted kits that only people on Essential Rewards can get. And the best part is that you get a percentage back of each order in points. And then you get to redeem those points for free products. So you're going to end up getting lots of free stuff being on this program. So we recommend people getting on right at the beginning because you end up getting a percentage back of your kit. So there's no reason to wait, do it right then. And then as you start learning more about different products you wanna start switching out, or you go through your lavender within a few months of getting it, you're gonna be able to replace all that stuff and put it on your central rewards order each month. So the third step is to plug into our community. So we have so much to offer our members. We have a Facebook education group where there's information fed slowly. So it's not overwhelming because this is a new world for everybody right when we start off, right? 
so it's like a little bit of information each day. You can use that group as a search tool to go look for any sort of specific issue you need help with. We also have lots of regular education every single Monday night. We have education on something specific. It's always switching out that you can tune into on Zoom. Then we also have um, the first Sunday of each month, we have a team meeting where we have a different little challenge for the month where we get to come together and experience a new product or some sort of health benefit together and discuss. Um, then we talk about mindset there too, just to make our mental health better too, not just our physical health from these oils. We also have all sorts of other things to plug into to help educate you and walk you through using your oils, getting use of everything that you get from Young Living and specifically helping you become a detective for your own health. Looking at the products in your own home and saying, with the education I've received now, do I want this in my home or not? And then decide if you if you don't, Young Living has something to replace it with. And looking at your own health and saying, you know what, this part, this body system isn't functioning okay, and I need to address it. And going and we'll teach, give you the resources to go in and look and say, what supplements could help my body function better? What oils and how could I be using certain oils to help my body function better? Because that's the point of all of this, is for us to learn to take our health into our own hands and us to feel responsible for it. And that's empowering enough that it's not just about dropping an oil on, it's about looking at your life. And it's about looking at everything that affects health, which is everything. It's about the thoughts we think, the things we put on our bodies, the things we put in our mouths, the things that come out of our mouth when we're talking, everything. And that's what this community is about, is helping us all constantly be learning and moving forward and supporting each other in our goals. And that's what this community is about. So the fourth step is every month we have this meeting just like this, a little short intro to it. And you can invite people to this. And this is why we're doing this is that there's lots of people on this community who have an Aunt Susie. Who they're like, oh my gosh, this oil has worked so good for me. I need my Aunt Susie to use it. But I don't know how to tell her that she needs to use it. Or I tell her and she's like, eh. Yeah, maybe, but she's not getting it. It's not clicking. But if she could hear it from other people, maybe it would click. And that's what this is for. So all of our friends and loved ones, they can plug in to hear and hear about oils and hear about the community to see if this is something that could help them too. So the four steps start with becoming a member and do that by contacting the person who invited you here today and they'll help you walk through all those steps and plug you into all the resources that are going to help you on the journey. So does anybody have any questions before we end up on this?